Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today's a new day with new ideas and I'm excited to get into it. So here is the front part of my page. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I'll be doing more. I'll be making things to go in the inside of it and the like and stuff to go behind it. But what I want to do is do the base of my back page. What I've decided is I'm going to continue on with the same background as I did on the front side of the page. And I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to do that right now. I just thought it carried on a little of the continuity of the page and so the theme and everything. And plus I just like the paper, right? There we go. There we go. And there we go. I think that's better. I like that better. Uh, a little bit of glue squishes, but you know what? It's okay. So I've got my page on. There's a tad bit at the top that's showing a tad bit at the bottom, but I'm okay with that. Looks good. So this is the other thing that I want to do. Okay, that's my page going over here. I have this beautiful antique handkerchief that I want to use. I've been thinking about how can I hold the mail in because I want to make envelopes to go in this middle area that's tied in with the ribbon, but a ribbon wouldn't just hold it. So I had to think about, about what I was going to do. So I have this awesome hanky here this handkerchief and I can put the mail in it and fold it up. I don't know which side will go first. But I'll fold it up so it'll be like a little package to unload. I do want to make it sure that I do it small enough so that I can see some of this background. So I need to be mindful of that because the framing of it I think will be important. So probably my first envelope I'll make to create the size that I want it to be. Then I have this wonderful vintage Hug Snug ribbon that I'm going to use. It brings in that color from the page and I'll be able to make a bow right there out of it. I might also white, add some white things in there, but this is what I want to do. It's the idea that I had last night, so I'll, I, uh, I starched my handkerchief and I am ready to go. So I'm going to have my ribbon behind it to come up, and it, that shouldn't be a problem be, with this. I was concerned about putting it behind the paper because you can rip up and pull your paper, but this will be fine being right behind there. Let me play around with the size of something behind it. So let's see, if I figure out how much edge I want peeking. Okay, so I gotta keep in mind this edge here is gonna be a half an inch. So I wanna go ahead right from the get-go and make me a little reminder that I need to have that space there. I should just put the the holes in there and stop messing around with it. Sometimes you know you're just not ready to commit to something, right? And that's kind of what this is. I'm not ready to commit. Although I know that that's what I'm going to do, but still, part of me is like, well, what if there's some other idea I come up with? Okay. Yeah, there's a line. I can't even see it, but okay. So that's going to be my half inch on that side. Let's try again one more time. Okay, so if I have that half inch on that side, I want to have a half inch on this side that puts me about there. So that'll make, okay, so let me see. Got to do the math. That's a half inch there. I'm going to go in. And then I want a half inch on that side. That'll take me to four and a quarter inches. So I want it four and a quarter inches. And I should probably do a half inch at the top and bottom at least to make it a nice look so if I do a half inch there half inch there that's I won't crush that one seven and a quarter for mine so you want to measure yours and kind of feel out if you do something like that but I think that's what I need to do so I'm gonna cut something that size this is a scrap paper I'm gonna start with this see there's that whole commitment thing I need to do a scrap paper can't do the real thing so once again, four and a quarter by seven and a quarter. 
pull it out. Seven and a quarter. On this particular cutting board, it's that seven and a quarter cut is in no man's land. I hate it when I cut something that size. Okay, that'll be a nice size. So let me just kind of put this in here and see what it does and what it looks like. So I think I'm going to make it so that folds in like that. So I might I might put a button or something there to hold that in place and maybe a button there. I'm not quite sure. And that'll fold up and that'll fold down. Hmm. That's not coming all the way down though. I don't like that look. Okay, let me rethink it. So the inside's fine. Maybe if I just do a full flap. Oh, maybe if I have the flap going to the inside. So that, okay, let me go farther. Let me go farther. Okay, let me try that to see what it looks like. So the flap goes to the inside. I do have that. Now I do want it, see if I do it this size, it's nice and square there, but these two parts don't come together and I can't tie it and hold it together so I have to go smaller. I'm going to cut an inch off of it and see what happens. Got to go smaller. That's alright though. Okay, so let's try again. This, I can go in the inside there. That's going up. This is going down. They now go over each other. And my ribbon can tie it closed, I believe. I'm going to kind of just give it a try. Yeah, so I have extra space I can work with. i got to decide what I want to do. I could just still go centered and it just gives it a little bit more. I think I'll do that. I think I actually might try it even just a half inch smaller just to give it, I, I really want my mail to hold together and once I get a bigger stack I'm afraid that this, it won't be long enough, that um, the edges won't be long enough to cover. So this is still a mail size piece, right? That's still good. I can still have lots of fun with that. Okay, so once again, put that in. Oops. Turn it over. Turn it in the middle. Pull up and down. Okay, so that'll be better. And then if I have a bunch of stuff stuffed in it, let's see what happens there. This obviously isn't going to be stuff in it, but we can get an idea make sure it's still okay so it'll still cover nicely so it does have more space here than I'd like so I need to figure out what I want to do with that um, but I know that this is what I want to do here so let's take a look one of the things that I want to do I want to put some stamps in the background now I could put real stamps but I think I want to make some stamps and that's what this is here for so this is just a piece of a gift bag that I got and I cut it apart and I really liked the design on it and the coloring of it so I thought well I can use that someday and today is that day so let me see what I can do got a piece down there I'm gonna cut it cut it about one inch size by I'm not quite sure what maybe by one and a half that's what I'm doing because part of it's going to be hidden so this adds a pop of color you know create a stamp but it'll it'll create something for the, the eye to come out with this is just a little scrap here but it'll give me an idea of what it's going to look like I have a pinking shears and I can use pinking shears along the edge of the paper to create the effect of a stamp I know that they have some specialty scissors from like my scrapbooking days but this this will be this will be fine this will work and then I'll put something else right in there and see how that brings that color 
that color into it. So I'll probably have a few different ones sticking out. I like that. It just brings, it's just a cheerfulness that it brings to it. And probably it would be something nice too. I might put some kind of a card sticking out in the front there. Okay, so those are the ideas I'm going with and now to get working. Okay, this is the structure I decided to go with. By putting my ribbon there, I can just anchor it. I can maybe put something across. But it might have a little bit of give and I was a little concerned about that. Oh. What I was thinking of doing was making a sandwich, putting one of these with a corner cut on the bottom and one on the inside and sewing that. And then that way, this will be anchored down to my surface and then this will just nicely wrap around without having a lot of squish and give to it. Actually, now that I look about at it, I think I'm just gonna put one in the inside to anchor it. I'm gonna sew it down. I'm gonna probably um, place some kind of a, I don't know, a, a poem or something there or something, whatever I want it to say. And then I'm gonna hot glue that to the surface. But first, initially, all I need to do is have this middle part secured because I want to make sure I can get these down below before I secure it all. Is that clear as mud? Okay, I'm gonna start out by distressing this and sewing it in. Okay, I now have this sewn in the middle. I actually like the look of it better on the other side, but if I do that, I'll see the thing down below. I guess unless I glue it. I'll have to think about that. So much to think about. Okay, so that's gonna go down there. And that's gonna fold in. And that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I just don't like that sticking out there. I can also just put a whole nother piece of fabric on the inside here that will cover that up. I think that's a better option. So I'm going to go with my initial thought and just glue this down this way. Okay, so one thing that I also did that I wish I had paid attention to, it's not a big deal. Technically, the handkerchief, the proper side is on this side. So this side is a little more, bit more muted. So you get the better effect when it's all opened up like this. You know, I could have had it in the other direction, but it's no, it's a no big a deal. Okay. I'm gonna have that there. I'm gonna have my color sticking out. I wanna check out my color again, just get a feel for it. So what I can also do is carry over some of this cheesecloth from the other side, which basically complements the little stamps that I'm going to be making. So it'll create a little bit of movement, maybe down there, um, and, and just a different texture than what the stamp will be. Why don't I work on the stamp right now? Because then I can get that done. And I can get things glued up. So I'm going to I'm going to cut out three sections. I think. I'm not sure how many stamps I want. That's what I'm going to do. I've got one and a half, and I'm going to do them by one inch. Okay, so for my stamp, what I want to do, I might actually use this coloring, this cardstock that I use for the inside paper, because I like the, it's a little softer than using a bright white. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out make those just a little bit bigger. So I do want to um, do a little bit distressing. I'm going to use my gray ink as opposed to my other one. So I might actually want to go back around these after I cut them with the scissors. 
so I want to put this on, but actually I can put something under it too. It doesn't have to just be straight on. Look, I have this wonderful distress stuff here. I like that. See what that looks like? So if I put something like that there, let me see. Let's see what happens if I just put like a lace behind it. Kind of rough looking, which actually isn't all that bad. What if I put lace completely behind it? No, I don't like that. Okay, I'm just going to try one with lace just to see what it's like. This is just a, a rough lace. So it'll look kind of jagged like, but we'll see what it does. I'm going to try my wet glue on it as opposed to hot glue. See what it does? You know, I probably should have cut it with my other scissors first because that would be a more accurate um, representation of the size. So my other scissors, they are for fabric, so it'll cut right through that lace. Okay, have that layer there. So that's what that looks like. Now I want to add on top of that. I did just get this. I don't know if this is what I want to use. But I did just get this. It was just at the dollar store, but it's adorable. It says, Hello Beautiful on it. But it has these flowers right there. It might be too... Yeah, that just doesn't work. Not even close. Okay, I want a flower. I want to put a flower there. This is a little... I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby recently. So let me see if there's a flower in here I can use. Okay. Here's the butterfly. He would be cute if it worked out peeking out the bottom. You know, I don't need the purple. I can just go a straight stamp with that. I think I'll do that. Okay, this time I'm going to cut out the outside. Getting a little smarter here. And then, okay, then I'm going to cut out, put my butterfly on it. It's a fun thing about junk journaling, there's so many options. It's just it's just endless. It's a fun thing, but it also can be an overwhelming thing because there's so many options. Okay, I really like the butterfly with that kind of background. I'm going to go ahead and ink this one up. I could actually cut it in half because I'm going to have it sticking out. You know what I mean? I want a little bit of activity still. This is eyelash, eyelash uh, yarn. I can do that. So I want a little bit of movement behind it, but I don't want it to steal the show. I want this still to be the, the main thing. I don't want your eye just caught up there if I have the eyelash thread. It's like, it's like what is that? What if I put a little of this kind of crinkled around? This is just um, uh, what is that stuff? You know, just a uh, tissue paper. So it gives it kind of a little bit of a grungy look. It brings in a little bit more color. The pinkness is soft. I'm doing it. So I'm gonna smash it on there. So the bottom won't be showing. I'm going to kind of move it a little bit to make sure that I can still see the definition that I'm creating it to be a stamp. And I'm going to put that on there. So I like it with the roses. So I'm going to have that one kind of sticking out a little bit more. And I can have this up there just for a little bit added definition in that movement I was looking for. So see what that does? 
So that's what I think I'm going to do. And this one, let's see. Maybe it's going to need a, like a corner of actual nail sticking out, something just a little bit different. Hmm. So I'm trying to play around with color a little bit to see, this is just a picture, but if, if it, the coloring impacts the balance of my page because I want my eye to naturally flow and the color makes a difference. <gasps> what I could do, seeing this music here, I could just put a little ripped piece of music down there. All right, I have a whole pile of stuff here to play around and just try and see what it does. This is a piece of actual uh, doily, doily stuff. and that looks really nice, creates a nice texture and with it being authentic. Here is a piece of calendar. I could have, now. Nah, I don't like it, I know already. Um, this is a piece of just that kind of lace. Don't like that at all. I can use some twine someplace in there. I like that feel. Here's a piece of polka dot fabric. Hey, I'm not sure about that. That's my Alexa. She's not sure about the polka dot uh, fabric, so maybe I should pull it away. Okay, here is a crossword puzzle. This actually creates kind of a fun male type feel to it. It's not, it's not a shabby chic feel though, that's for sure, but it is a fun feel that I do like. Here is a little tiny piece of music. It's actually probably more the feel that I want. But I can layer that with other things. Here's a piece of that. You know how some people are just really quick journal makers? They just like, boom slap stuff together. I am not that. I just really ponder every piece and look at it, try another. For me though, that's part of the fun, just playing around till I get it, get what I want. I like that. And then if I had some little beading, or here's a little, some button type things. Oop. So my little craft place is down in the basement and the air conditioning makes the basement so cold. I have to have a little heater here by me. So sometimes you might hear it come on. Otherwise I'll freeze. Okay, I'm going to put buttons probably in there someplace. Well, no, I want a button right there. Move the blue. That's distracting me. I think maybe I need to bring some of that down here somehow. Nope.
Okay, when all is said and done, I think this is the design that I'm going to go with. <clears throat> I'm going to use cheesecloth in there because cheesecloth adds a little texture, a little movement without demanding to be the center of attention. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to add two other stamps I'm going to make and just create a little balance there. So that's what I'm working on. And then this I'm going to have slightly angled. Since I have this on the other side that's straight up, I thought I would angle this side to just create a little bit of difference. So let's get to it. Okay, regrouped. I've decided I'm ready to glue this. I'm going to have the bow going up and down. So I'm going to glue this page down. Here we go. So I need to make sure I have glue behind the ribbon and not just over the ribbon. So I put a bead of glue underneath that. Um, with the glue gun, you know, I've, I've got to work fast. It's not, it's, it's not going to wait for me. So I've got that nicely secured. And now that I have that there, I'm going to use my white glue to put it on this main page. So this page, I've got the top up here. I need to be mindful of that because I have in the past messed that up. Uh, but I want to have my things that are going to go underneath. I'm going to put that there. Gonna put that little cutie there. I'm gonna put some other my other stuff. I'm gonna cut some fresh. Gonna be fresh. So I'm gonna put cheesecloth along the edges because it adds that texture without stealing from the main area. It doesn't create so much busyness, it just makes your eye go into the main focal point of what I want to be seen. And I'm going to keep it white. I'm not going to. I'm not going to distress it at all. So let's see here. I might just turn it over and then um, just glue right to the back. I'm going to start doing that. The thing I like about using the hot glue with this is that it it just sets right away for this kind of stuff. And so you're not having the fussiness of waiting for the glue to dry or if you touch it, it messes it up. So I need to make sure it's wide enough to actually be sticking out. And then if it's, if it's too much, I can go back and I can trim it. But if it's not there, if it's not sticking out enough, well, then who cares? It's not there. So I'm going to go all the way around, and then I also want to use some of that um, marvelous other color in there to give it additional personality. Makes it pretty. All right, let's see what I, oh, I don't have anything on the side. I'll do one more. Right up here. Make sure it's sticking out. I need to get a little on this edge too. So glue it up and stick her down. That's what I'm talking about when your fingers stick to the glue. That takes it all off. Okay. Maybe a little bit more up in this area. Stick it out. But I'd say that looks pretty good. like you can just keep going. The thing is, I want to make sure I have it there if I want it, and then I can cut it if I don't. So this other stuff I can tuck in afterwards, this, this other color. Let's take a peek. 
I love how there's so many options of these colors. <laughs> that glue also just makes your fingers just, my fingers are sticky right now. I just watched a video yesterday. Um, I think it was Mary that pointed her out, this video, and the gal, she has a sponge on her table, and when her fingers are sticky, she touches the sponge to get the gook off them. I thought that was brilliant. I, I kind of have finger problems. Okay. I do have baby wipes. But you have, to, you have to pull them out, right? Okay, I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to commit. So, let's go ahead. Do I want to stick these onto here? I think I do. I'm going to put a lot of glue there. So it's going to pick up my two stamps right there. So, there. Those are there. And that's, boom, that's it. No more fussing about that. Okay, I broke down and got my baby wipe. <laughs> Alright, a little too much glue action on my fingers. Alright, position it again. I'm just trying to decide if I want to secure this underneath or just kind of glue it at the top. I think I'm just going to glue it at the top and make a go for it and secure my main piece down. So I'm going to glue it up nicely so that I can go through the layers of the cheesecloth. I want to make sure it's slanted enough so that it looks like it's supposed to be slanted and that it's just not a mistake that was made. Okay, now i got to make sure I glue down these two stamps. I'll do that right now. Sorry, you can't see. I'm just picking it up and putting glue behind them so I can push them down. I need to hold them just a tad bit. I like it. One thing I didn't get is my other one down here. I had another... There it is. Not too late. I can still stick it under. I'm going to decide the angle that I want it. And how far over. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I think I want this one just a little bit more, just peeking out. Not out as far as the other ones. Just like a, a little hint, a little tease more so of it. Just like... And then my cheesecloth's coming over the top. I'm ready to secure some of this around. So I'm just going to put a few little dots to catch it and let it dry. Okay. Let's see. I should probably get some fresh cheesecloth. This one's a tad bit beat up. I'm going to put it over here. And that'll be good because I've kind of got a scraggler part of the one I did underneath. And so by putting that extra glue, it will hold it as well. Okay, there's that. I've got a touch here, but I think I want a little bit more. Yeah, 
like that. Make sure it's touching. All right, this is just like really getting on my nerves. I need to use a different glue method for for this. If Mary's seeing this, I bet she'll have a great idea. All right. I like that. A little more coming out. Just blushing just a tad bit, not heavy. Just a little more light color coming out. I like the balance of that better. Okay. And now I still need some at the bottom. Down here. I should just pull out my glue gun and be using that right now. I wouldn't be having all this problem. Okay. A little more. I think I want it actually going over the top of it a little bit. And a little bit right there. All right. So I think I'm going to put a word up here, by the way. That's why I have that, that little space. So that's what I have here for now. And then when I open that up, I'm going to be making envelopes to put in there. I also want to see what these dots look like. I like it. Alright, I'm going to stop for now, let my creative juices flow, and then come back again. So here's my post page, and when I turn it, I've got my vintage handkerchief that I'm going to open up, and then inside I'm going to have mail pieces. This is a music one, but I'm going to make, I'm going to be making the envelopes, all different types of envelopes. So, so there you go. That's what I've got, and I will see you for my next part.